stop it. Stop. Everybody hush. Hush and listen. Because I'm about to give you the secret to what the fuck y'all are witnessing. What you niggas, N-E-G-U-S of the royal kind, that niggas, N-I-double-G-S, what y'all are seeing right now are free people arguing over who got the best master. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So, we're going to go back to silent. Let's register this shit back down. We're going to lock this back down. So, I'll tell you when America was great. Seven years after the ending of the Civil War. Exactly what oh, Candace, because you, you didn't give the comment. So, you weren't prepared for that one. Seven, no, but that's, that's not to jump on Candace because, again, I'm disagreeing with my friend. Seven years after the end of the Civil War, blacks within seven to 15 years accumulated over 15 million acres of land. Since, hold on, before we get to clapping because the niggas bought some shit. Black people were the only skilled labor in there. So if it was welding to be done, iron bending, cotton picking, it was black people. So instantly, your value became more. And Candace has a point. The point that she made about illegal immigration affecting you is that it's going to affect you at some point. Why? If the Kegel Chicken Factory is hiring illegally, illegal immigrants at an undercut on the rate, it affects the black people who live there who should be demanding 20 bucks an hour because they're being undercut. So when they get wiped out, they have to hire blacks, pay them, and unionize. So she's right on that. But hold the fuck on, I'm not finished. You have to remember that people who look like you immigrate too. So before you widely say, fuck them all, remember, America is always going to have a slave class. And if illegal immigrants or legal immigrants will not be the lowest paid workers, those in prison will be, and that always ends up looking like one of their sons. So it circles back around. So that's why people who are black, who are from two different plantations, got to get the fuck away from Massa long enough to say, how are we going to burn down both their fucking houses? Now, this is my thought. This is my thought. I don't care if you destroy the Republican or Democratic Party because at one time, blacks were Republicans and you dominated those seven years after, civil, after, civil, um, after the Civil War. You were Republicans. You had more blacks in the House and Senate than you do now and you dominated your own economic communities. You did that as Republicans. As Democrats, you did the same in cities like Atlanta. You failed in other cities. But the most important thing is self-organizing. By the time we get to a candidate, we should have a list that says white man, white woman, these are our demands. You can meet them and get our vote or not, and we're going to stay home and crochet and make collard greens. But what you cannot do <laughs> is continue to argue over who is the best master. I don't give a fuck if it's Trump, Obama, yo mama, my mama. What the fuck do you have for me and my community? Now... If you do not, and if you stop playing, if you stop playing, oh, I'm going to say the snazziest shit to each other on stage. I'm going to show that motherfucker. This is going to be a quotable. And we close up the doors. And we simply say, how do we take the good of what you have, the good of what you have, the good of what you have and you have, how do we shape it into a 10-point agenda to present, to present, to present to every local state and national politician if you cannot meet points on our agenda we simply can't support you i like you i love your casinos mr trump i like you bernie i like maple syrup that comes from vermont but what do you have for us now when talking about have black people done better we keep doing better and we keep getting knocked down we keep doing better and we keep doing knocked down so i'm gonna tell people this is your homework fuck trying to convince you I want you to go home tonight. I want you to listen to Thomas Sowell. I want you to listen yes. to, hold on, I got you coming. You look, my nigga, my nigga. All right. Yes. So, right there. I want you to listen to Walter E. Williams. Yes. I want yes. you to listen to Antonio Moore. I want you to listen to Yvette Carnell. I want you to listen to the economic.
economic strategy of Elijah Muhammad and Marcus Garvey. I want you to listen to the political strategy of Stokely Carmichael. I need you to get on your study and prove yourself worthy shit because I'm tired of arguing who got the best master. You are already free. Now, nigga, act like it. Do your research. Yeah. Do yeah. your research and decide what's best for you because what's best for us in Atlanta was a black man who said, okay, I'm the mayor now. You want to do business with Atlanta, meaning you want to have an opportunity zone, 29% of all government contracts had to be attached to black people. When he found out that there were no black architectural firms, he said black people build driveways, we can build airport runways. So he gave the white architectural firms the rights to build the airport, the fucking Herman Russell company laid the drive, laid the, laid the plane. So my thing is, as black people, how are we going to get in the room together Stop fighting over who's master. Decide what our agenda is and how to leverage it. I don't care who agrees with Cap or JD or Jay-Z. I care that black people as a whole showed up to work that day. What if nobody would have showed up to work? What if everybody said, you know what, fuck it, my nigga. What if everybody on the same day would have done that? If everybody, would, every policeman, every beer salesman, every car parker, every NFL analyst would have not showed up. Until we ready to do that, we're not serious about being free. That's real. You just here to see a show and argue over who got the best master. Until we decide what is the real breaking point. If blacks are 15% of this nation, we should be 15% of Wall Street. We should yeah. be 15% of music execs, 15% yeah. of Hollywood execs, 15% of governors, 15% of mayors. And until you hit that 15%, you're failing, 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 fucking failing. No matter who your master is. So pick a better master, I say kill your masters and get your own shit. Yeah.